Hi everyone. First of all, I want to thank all of our subscribers, all of our users and the new visitors for liking our videos, subscribing to our channel and watching our videos. Uh, this video is mainly for few basic concepts of VBA and I'm merging those features with some predefined features of Excel as well. Right, because uh, sometimes the situation um, arises um, that you want to do uh, some calculations and you think that you can easily do it using formulas but um, on the other hand you need to do the same thing for hundreds of things or thousands of things and you think that if you could control it using VBA as well so the better way is to combine these two things and uh, use VBA in parallel to formulas right so uh, it is not I mean a good thing that you are controlling everything using VBA because sometimes it becomes tough and um, formulas itself have some limitations which you cannot do everything using formulas right so a mix of two makes big thing and make your life easier right so I'm not uh, controlling formulas uh, using VBA here but yes uh, some feature of Excel which I'll be controlling using VBA right so see this video I mean if I click this button you'll see that the color of this Excel um, text is changing so this is very 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 easy thing to do and and within next uh, couple of minutes you will be able to create such thing in your Excel from very scratch right so let's move on to sheet 2 I'll be creating everything from scratch right so first of all uh, you see Excel like this right so I'm selecting all the cells control A going to home tab I'm changing the row height to let's say 5 okay make it let's say 7 yeah it's fine and let's say I change column width to 2 okay I need to change it to 1 <laughs> so I'm just making the um, cells in square form and yeah it's fine so now uh, let's say I type some character here like this or I'm not typing something uh, I'm just uh, coloring couple of uh, cells and making a letter let's say I highlight this like this uh, and I want to write let's say E alright so this way I can write E fine and and let's say I write a dot in every cell of it yeah so now uh, I'm changing its color back to no fill now you can see dots and if I select these columns and apply a rule here in conditional formatting a new rule format only if the cell that contains the value which is equal to dot then change its color fill to red and ok and ok so it will do the same thing right if something uh, it finds as dot it will highlight it as red and if it finds something as let's say I'm uh, inserting another rule new rule and which contains cell value which is equal to let's say if it is equal to comma then 
change the color to let's say green okay and okay nothing is uh, co comma in this uh, range that's why nothing is green right but yeah you can see dots here that's why the color is red if I put something here like comma you'll see it as green and 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 if you select all these cells and replace dot with comma you'll see that the color changes to green this is what we actually want to do using VBA uh, after every set, uh, second let's say so that you see the color of the the letter E changes with every 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 second right so uh, we are going to VBA editor right uh, hold on for a second so this is the code which is actually controlling our, 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 our example but we'll be writing a new module so a new module starts with sub procedure let's say I'll name it ABC and here uh, what I want to do is I just want to change this letter in these cells from dot to comma and then comma to dot after every second so I just want to run a loop from these cells so for i is equal to the row number is 3 till 15 3 to 15 this is my outer loop and one I need to have for columns and my columns are from 4th to 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th 4th to 9th for call is equal to 4th to 9th and next right and all this now these loops uh, everything which I write in here will navigate through these cells right so if cells i comma column i is my row uh, dot value is dot if it finds a dot in this range then then change the content of that cell to comma right and else if it finds a comma then change if it finds a comma then change the cell content to dot right this is what actually we wanted and we want to uh, change this color after every second so I am putting another uh, loop here for let's say um, control is equal to 1 to 10 so it will change the color 10 times alright and next and we want to have a delay of one second after every every color change so that you can actually see the change so application dot wait now plus time value and I want a delay of one second that's why I'm putting like this right so so for every run when control is 1 or let's say I'm taking this variable as PDR right so when PDR is 1 it will wait for one second it will mm, change the all dots to commas or all commas to dot and then come back and uh, then w PDR is 2 it will then wait for one second and do all the changes and like this it will be working so let's see 
if we run this it is doing nothing it is not changing the color it is just changing the uh, text in that cell and uh, the feature is basically controlled by the conditional formatting rules which we have applied earlier so now you can see that we we have actually combined two features to make something interesting right so so uh, as such this code is not very useful but the applications can be many which you can think of and and combining multiple features sometimes really make wonderful things and believe me me thank you for watching our videos